Mm, what's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War Let's Play as the Kingdom of Portugal. And in this episode, uh, after attacking lots of the Dutch uh, member states or client states, we are now attacking their homeland themselves. So we first attack Amsterdam and then we're going to explore attacking Cologne and destroying the Dutch for good. But anyway, let's first take Amsterdam. This is the first step on uh, destroying, well, destroying the Dutch, plus some of our uh, more frustrating adversaries. Lots of the small minor states dotted around the world that have all become um, protectorates, well, which have all become protectorates of the Dutch. So we've taken, I think, like the Plains Nations. We've taken out Morocco. We may have taken out some more, uh, which I'll check when we're back at the campaign map. But apart from that, oh, we're landing against the Inuit. So our hold in the Americas is almost entirely secure. But this is a action where we are going to just blow our way in. I mean, we are going to do a bit of a bit of flanking, but the flanking is going to be more about. Throwing the enemy off balance. Good, they're all hidden. Nice, nice, nice. And my howitzers fire while they like. Just want to make sure my foot artillery focuses on making a breach. And we are going to make a sweet, sweet breach. So let's crank up the time because they're not going to stop us. It looks if they don't stop, they're not going to get many shots off against us. We've got four 12 pounders, four 12 pounder batteries. They are not going to stop us from making our way in. Get the howitzers to engage targets behind the walls that are attempting to position for the defense. Just to thin them out somewhat. I mean, once we knock a hole in the wall, that's going to be the best time to quick climb. Missed the 13. Oh, no, that's a good hit. But some of these guys. Oh, I've got some good kills up on the wall here. Boom. But now we've made our breach. This is when the enemy is going to fill it full of troops. So you, this battery, are going to focus on the fort here next okay you men are going to advance at speed to this corner we want to divide their divide their howitzer fire so by attacking here we will create extra ways in garrison line garrison line make sure you guys get in far enough ahead of the guns so that when they stop swabbing you don't get your heads blown off you guys are spreading out fusiliers attack here you men attack the gate I mean I must admit I do like just swarming the walls technically one of the smarter things to do would be to just send one guy to attack the walls and pour everyone in. But I like storming the walls. It's something that's just fun. Okay, you three men push that section of the wall. Actually, make make it four. And these two can advance towards. Actually, you go. You men push up, secure this outer defences, and get ready to push across towards into all this firelock arm citizenry so when you push in all at once you prevent the enemy howitzers from being able to mass their fire against a few critical units i mean they're still doing some good damage and these units are still going to wait their turn they look like they want to push out but that's kind of a bad idea 
these engineers are going to push in and begin engaging the enemy. They're going to do some damage. Then we're going to slowly feed in more troops. You men just face off against the garrison line here. Wavering from mortar fire and from musket fire. Okay, let's push these guys up into the breach a bit more. Get these engineers in. Get in here. Still wavering. Get my lances over here on the flank. I mean, you men form up and just start pouring musket fire onto them. That'll be fine. Kill a bunch of guys here as they were defending this position. Ooh, that that howitzer fire is not good. Switch to round shot, bombard the mortars. Yeah, that much that engineer unit is upset. Push these other two units in. There we go. We're scaling the wall elsewhere. They're having to pull men back from other positions. Bring my cavalry up. So get one unit to... Actually, no, just get them both up here. Taken... Taken the gates. So these men... This is now an option. Now we're in. Just give them an order to form up inside the wall and then now guys will run around climb up the climb up the ropes and they will just run through the gate so my engineers and line infantry are holding off well here but they may not do enough these men are securing this position here you can attack the fire lock arm citizenry now there's enough of you that you will make your way across the walls properly okay, let's pull this cavalry this unit back Get everyone in to form up on the second rank. You men, chart. No, not you guys. You guys get over here. Cavalry. Charge the garrison militia. Where's my general? Let's get my general over here. Ooh, chonk time. Yeah, that, that's going to happen. Excellent. So you men, get get into position as quickly as you possibly can. So you men form up and engage the square. These two howitzer units switch to round shot, switch to quick climb and attack ground here. So we can charge across the gates and we've got them. we've secured them. Two enemy units are wavering inside the breach, that's pretty good. Engage the enemy militia. them destroy that unit so the quick climb units focus on these guys that are supporting the attack in the breach mercenary unit can push up we don't want to push through here because we're a bit vulnerable new men want to try and ooh, ideally really you want to attack ground nearby The 
how it says try and drop some quick lime. These units withdraw. Quick lime the bulk of the men here. What we want is to do exactly what they're doing. They've moved off of the center. So now we can run in and secure it with our infantry. So we're quick climbing the blocks. If you guys pull out, may be able to lure you to chase after us. A bit dicey. No, pull out. You may try smack the fourth, kill the enemy general. The human get involved against the Swiss line. There we go. Pull the cavalry back. Bit of friendly fire, but that's not bad actually. Get on the square. These two units both attack the marines. You guys are both attacking the Swiss line. You're attacking the militia. These fusiliers are running away. Keep on attacking them. And you guys fall into the Swiss line here. The howitzers are going to try and quick line but then gonna be too close there's two men okay there we go now their forces have broken except for the units outside of the wall funnily enough they're normally the ones that break the soonest this was a real sloppy attack I screwed up big time here oh it says quick climb the eighth Artillery attack the 8th because you've all got loaded guns. Everybody else, form a line to face the breach. Here comes the quick climb and the foot artillery. Boom, 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 boom. That was that. But yeah, that was super, super messy. Getting a bit cocky here. Let's try and dial that back a bit. So Amsterdam is ours. Understandably, they hate us. So let's replenish. Let's get rid of the university. How much will the university fix things immediately? Almost entirely, actually. Upper classes will like us instantly. The lower classes will be... So if you get rid of it, it becomes minus two. The next turn it becomes minus one, and then that doesn't really matter. So let's rebuild port. In Antwerp, let's build a sloop. Upgrade the cloth mill. Excellent. Push my rake up. I mean, you're barely Catholic anyway. But I may just keep converting you just to make sure. And Mr. Sobrino. Yeah, the enemy are bringing in lots of reinforcements, but it will not save them. Actually, I might want to do it with another, with not you. You, but you're not in range. So that might have to wait till next turn. We're at war with Dagestan. 
Can you leave? You can. Okay, cross into their territory. And the defense at Cherkask is looking okay. The Astrakhan, it too is growing. We got Ufa. Let's keep upgrading. We're gonna go for Kazan, then Ust. I mean, Astrakhan's a bit vulnerable, but we should be okay. Crimea will soon be less vulnerable. You can't really recruit. Eh, Carabino's not bad. How are you doing for cavalry? Ah, you've already got a good amount. You do just want regular infantry. Yeah, five turns to get a unit of infantry from Chikask. Let's send one just across. Upgrade the farm here. Nice, we're still sieging a Gdansk, we're still sieging a Warsaw. To be honest, we could probably... Although no, you're replenishing because you're a bit knackered, as are... You're kind of knackered, but you're going you're gonna to hold. Just keep sieging. You're moving to Hanover. Good, 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 good. Then in the Americas, you know, you're... You can't afford to leave yet. Look, very upset. We've landed up by the Inuit, but we've not attacked yet. Yeah, we're sieging them. I'm happy to keep tritting them. It's not a massive priority to take that region. It's only for completeness. Okie dokie. Largely, though. Okay, let's dump some heavier ships into this squadron in Santo Domingo. Yeah, we're currently allied with the Marathas, so there's a limit to what we can do there. Doesn't mean we can't build up <laughs> slowly build up our forces so that when we do attack and we're going to go for Goa when we do go yeah, go for Goa okay, you, are now, you are now in a position to start to defend yourself I don't think we, well we may have Persians over the, over the hill but we should be in a position where we can manage that I think I'm going to hit end turn about to get diamond formation. Yeah, my priest is working his way across North Africa. There goes the Austrian Navy. Okay, I think we do want to start looking at taking out Spain. Ooh, it won't be a river battle, but we'll destroy all of the armies that are looking to reinforce the Cologne fight. So absolutely, we want to fight this action. Yeah, I wanted to try get to the river, but I maybe could have made it, but I was within range and I didn't want to attack across the river. This is just as acceptable. But yeah, this will cause lots of the armies that are defending the last Dutch city to be <laughs> at best destroyed, at worst degraded. So the capture of their last city will become that much easier. And because they wanted to attack us, they are going to attack us. So let's form our line. Drop the guns in the line. And I am going to put a unit of the regulars into the house. 
Keep some grenadiers nearby in case they counterattack it. And in terms of howitzers, just drop them behind the lines. The regulars and grenadiers protect the left. Cavalry is more of a reserve force. Excellent. Engaging the enemy artillery. Probably get our howitzers to reload against the against the cavalry first, more than anything. So we do have reinforcements coming in a bit off axis, so this becomes more important. So we'll need to eventually push our line up to about here if we're going to continue anchoring against this house. To be honest, I might put my grenadiers in here as well. Looks like there is space. Get ready to open up. So you're going to drop into square preemptively. In you get, fellas. I mean, I guess a good mix. We've got grenadiers and we've got skirmishes in there. The horse guards. Oh god, I mean, they're getting quick climbed to hell and back. Tunia of Hussars is just getting shot to pieces. Push them back. Okay, let's maybe retarget the howitzers. Now they're getting a bit close. Same thing, they're trying to attack our men outside of the, the house. There might be a few people, a few stragglers. We've got our square formations up though, so that's not a problem. Limber up the guns and let's start to pivot our lines somewhat. Sars versus the Lancer Guards. You men canister shot the canister shot the second horse guards. You know, attack the canister shot the third horse guards. Oh, good hit, Sam. Quick Lime is just doing a superb job. It's really thinning out the enemy. A lot of cavalry here. My well, Hussars lost that combat, unsurprisingly, I think. Are they being shot at by. Well, I suppose it's a lot of fire from all directions, really. You guys are a blessing and a curse. You're, you are shooting at everyone. Anchor the flank a little bit better. We'll drop in a square because they are coming. A regiment of horses on the way. Foot guards are routing. The second regiment just got obliterated by quick line. Pushing. Retarget Marines, Line Infantry Guards, plus Horse Grenadier Guards, I suppose. You guys are trying to 
maintain a musket battle with the health. In the long run, that will go in my favour. Take position on the slope. I'm going to keep you guys there because you're doing okay and you're keeping them at the right axis for quick climb fire. Get artillery up on the hill just to unlimber. Canister shot the conscripts, although if you've all fired at that unit you may not be firing it units I would like you to fire out. Even advance to clear them away from the farmhouse. You switch to round shot, engage. You can't really engage anyone at that range. Quick man's doing good work. You men engage the Light Dragoons. Yeah, we need to clear out the area around this house so we can redeploy these forces and hit the enemy's left flank. They've been pushed back. First Regiment needs to be pushed back. Excellent. The U-Man can leave the house, it has served its purpose well. You may just hold the line. Just don't route. The quick quick climb will do the job. All you have to do is not break. All you have to do is stand and fire and die. Good hits, good hits. The Marines can't keep that up. No one can keep that up. Horse Grenadier Guards are depleted. Kill the enemy general. need to get out of that house. It's going down. Ooh, horse guard crossier. That's a bit dodgy. Your regiment of horse, you're not bad, but it's two heavy cavalry units. Grenadiers, charge your muskets and help. That's my general. Get out of the house! Get out of there! So some of them are stuck. I know they're just taking their time. Go, 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 go! Yeah, my ground ears will help even the odds somewhat. The regiment of horse. Might take a lot of losses. Oh, and they're wavering. Form square again. Two dragoons. It's not a huge problem. Ooh, okay. My general plan can cease. You over here. Okay, if they're just going to shoot at us, we can spread our line out and engage as planned. Let's 
Switch artillery to round shot. Keep engaging. Nice. The enemy have scattered. Cavalry, go deal with those guns. Oh, that's all of them. Nice. Cease fire. Yeah, actually attack the this infantry unit. You might kill them. Kill them all. So you go after the marines. You mow down these conscripts. How about you? Uh, you're not going to get the marines. They spread out too well. And same with these conscripts. Yeah, they crossed over. However, <laughs> that was quite a quite a good battle for us. Because all these Dutch armies in the field get pushed to the east. All their gentlemen are... Uh, I mean, I'm going to auto that. Uh, no, I'm just not going to intercept. <laughs> Autoing. I thought I'll auto it. It'll, it's, it seems an easy battle, but no. Just use... Just, just wait. Chill, chill out. Yes, Savoy, you may pass. Oh, I haven't got a ship guarding um, Mallorca. It's a bit foolish. Oh, and we are defending against the Inuit. Let's do this. Then this army can. They may actually attack Archangelsk. They may sail them in. Actually, yeah, they'll probably attack Archangelsk. Land in the northeast. Capture some territory to the rear, build it up so they can build their own garrison forces, and then jobs are good. So, let's use our superior firepower, cause the native troops to have some significant emotional events. And then put some bow units behind the guns to add a little bit of extra close support. My regulars kind of not super placed here. Deploy my cavalry in chunks. And then just let my artillery go to work at whatever they can see. Because the challenge is always, as soon as like these chief's bodyguard units, for example, as soon as they break and run, the enemy has to show up from somewhere. Confident and fresh. If they get too close to my guns. Ah, there we go. Here they go across the board. They've they've been spotted. You warriors, warrior society. Blast them. As soon as they get in the range of the guns, the bowmen start firing. Okay, this flank may 
ease back just a little bit. Fire a volley. Push them back. There they go. Switch the guns. How it says. Attack ground here. Up clear out the left. Everyone else is pretty darn secure. So my colonial lights pursue the enemy cavalry here to make sure they... Oh, they're both shattered actually, so that's okay. Attack ground, quick climb some feathers, bring my native troops back. Send my heavy cavalry in against the bowmen. Gunners cease fire. Let's retarget the line. There you go. General attack the bowmen. Heavy cavalry. Get in here. Get my hatchet wielding American mercenaries to push in. Broken across the board. Hold fire. New men push forward and attack the garrison troops. Chief's bodyguard plus medicine men. Heavy cavalry to attack the chief's bodyguard. This is my colonial light. You keep attacking the bowmen. Howitzers switched around shot, bombard the medicine men. Get my heavy cavalry out of the way. Yeah, I'm going to speed up time. There we go. Because ceasefire. Oh, I got a handful of Native American warriors to kill there. The Warrior Society is routing. Take out this single unit, General. You know you wanna. Okay, I've still got you. Take out the medicine men. Poor Odin knew it. They stack up an eye, and it's just... We got too much firepower. Too much firepower, and there's nothing they can do about it. They can't approach by stealth. Yeah, look at that. Cavalry all out the board. Yeah, one of my infantry units did well. But I lost a bunch of guys. I suppose it's the one that was in the melee combat on the west. Yeah, Württemberg's the wild card. Yeah, we're allies with them for now. Peace with Corlin? No. Don't try anything, Saxony. We will end you. Catholic missionary in Spain. Let's give this missionary an order to make a pilgrimage all the way to Damascus. New town emerges in Algonquin territory. Here, have a craft workshop. 
Treat gained. Now you're mentioned in dispatches. So we gain diamond formation. You've gone straight on short and carbines. And at this point, I don't really mind what technology they research. Progress is progress. Okay. Steam powered cloth mill. Good, good, good. Good stuff. So here at your cask, you men just push up towards Dagestan. You're still recruiting your defenses. Astrakhan's still good. Attack Kazan. Just because we can, we're going to build going to build fortifications so you're still recruiting letter of demands from the netherlands yeah but they've already cheered up because we got rid of the university they don't want to know stuff who wants to know stuff excellent let's build a craft workshop nice 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 up here in the Reykjavik. Recruit two sloops because you can leave. You can leave. You men are going to embark. And you are the men that are going to attack. Ooh, you, you actually. Ooh, you're out of range quite a lot. So the best option, oh, we won't be able to get through here, they'll block us. Very well, land, land in Hanover. Deploy your troops, if possible. Now you can go back to Hoffen, so then you only need to build one sloop to keep you guys all up together. Strasbourg, yeah, re rebuild your garrison. You men cover the bridge and replenish. You are replenishing, but we will be attacking with this army here. Yeah, let's take out the Dutch. At least that gives us a good front line with Saxony. But yeah, I'm gonna they can get they can have up to Gdansk and Warsaw. Then that will be the limit of Saxon expansion. Anything to the east of that will be Portuguese. And if Saxony wants to join us in a war against Austria. Hello, what's this? Very interesting. A terribly commanding position for artillery, if I don't say so myself. Oh, and there's lots of defences to make it that much more challenging for the enemy to intercept. So I'm going to create one brigade. And create another brigade. Oh, you're going to take ages to go all the way around here. You can't exactly funnel down through here very easily. I mean, you can. Keep my pikes near the... Uh, my pikes will join the fight. Keep my veteran cavalry to protect the guns. My junior cavalry that needs more experience can get involved. Oh, wow. Wow. Not a terrible option, really. 
I mean, they deployed back, but they are still advancing the meters. I mean, imagine if they had quick climb here. Oh, hello. You want to be engaged by the fourth. Okay, you men are going to. I'll make you guys run. Wait a minute. How do I not see them? God, I suck. Ah, uh, you're okay. You can just carry on doing what you're doing. Get the irregulars to attack the gunners, grenadiers, hit the militia. Cavalry storm in. General take position. Defending the line. See how well the gunners defend themselves against skirmishes. Not very well is the answer. And these are only militia. Okay, infantry. join the regular fight. Pikemen advance through the town. Mikule, secure the farmhouse but fire it will off. Something like that. guns to engage howitzers I mean yeah so the deployment area is not great yeah, we're landing shots into their critical mass engaging the sixth I mean, this is very awkward. Very awkward indeed. Maybe take one more. Even try to get around here. Everyone else. Just hold the position behind the house, I guess. Pikeman engage the second. Yeah, they got line infantry, armed citizenry. Mm. This is very awkward. Push my regulars up to this farmhouse. Keep on engaging. Ah, you ran past him, you fool. That's your guy. Okay, now they're pushing up. I guess I'm going to have to keep pushing up the flank with these pikemen. You guys are going to clear out this block of troops. Okay. Get my howitzers to just drop. Quick climb on an area. You guys might be a bit late to actually uh, help. Probably want to put you guys here, really, instead of the 
light infantry. Pikemen are doing a great job clearing out the enemy line. Then it's on into the armed citizenry. Take two units and push you up here-ish. I'll take these two units and push you up here-ish. Bombard the garrison line. Sixteenth down to one hundred and ten men. Let's go for the general. It's only two men. Him and his bugler. The bugler's gone. You men charge forward into the hum citizenry. Do not stop the attack until the city is taken. push on into the seven foot guards but to be honest this is for this for such, being such a weird layout it's a lot clunkier than it could have been and ultimately you guys all just just run straight through the pikemen there they were the mvps I don't care who i'm fighting pikemen are great Send you into the melee just because they are now wavering. I mean, I have completely control aid that. Keep engaging artillery attack the tenth. Fusiliers go for the armed citizenry. 31st, come after the 11th. There go the foot guards, there goes you. Yeah, everyone go after the, uh, the 11th. There we go, thread the needle around the defences. Imagine being these guys, being like, don't worry, we've we, we got to hold them off, and it's just... All of these guys coming at you. And there's still a bunch of guys up there who aren't even getting involved. Yeah, they too shattered. Really messy, really disjointed, but yeah, that happens sometimes when the map generation can be a bit funky. Seven men remaining. Huzzah. Rhineland is ours. Let's destroy the university. Ricardo. Replenish, but advance. You men just hold, get ready to hold uh, Wurttemberg at, at risk. At whisk. Getting rid of the university. Pleasure Gardens is okay to have, as are the, as is, as is the industry. Build the fences, upgrade the mine. Good. So now you guys get to get to cover the positions towards Saxony. Although you may cross their territory to get to Konigsberg. Because yeah, they might. Well, I might get. Yeah, do I give them Warsaw? I can't. I think I'll give, I think I'll give them Gdansk, but I'll keep Konigsberg and Warsaw as a hard border for them. That would be a good idea, I think. 
So we've done all the construction stuff. Done the new town stuff. And there goes the United Provinces. We've got them. We've done the uh, the religious agent. Let's check out the... Uh, yes, I do need to get a bit more on top of things with my trade fleets. So, this fleet. Get out to West Africa. You guys need repairs. I spared the Nova's orders. Jose Geraldo. Something like that. Okay. Swalji is mostly Catholic. Tune is not majority Catholic, but biggest minority Catholic. You're trying to get to Jerusalem, I believe. Because you're trying to get to Damascus. Yes, you are. I mean, Egypt, they're starting to wonder, where have all these religious people come from? And we're going to keep slowly chipping away at their religious unrest, or increasing it, rather. Apart from that, things look pretty good. Right, so... Madrid... We're going to recruit General Felipe Figueredo. So let's get down to this bridge here so you can try and capitalize on the recruitment of both Madrid and Lisbon. Curacier, Lancer Guards. That's Colonial Dragoons. Not so bothered about that. On horse, Grenadier Guards plus. Unit of Hussars. One unit heavy horse guard artillery. One unit rocket troop. One heavy howitzer. Two foot pounder units. And one regular artillery unit. It's a beast of an army being built. I'm building them to go get, to get ready to go take Naples and Rome. I may take Milan and give it to Savoy. Just to be a bit different. Okay, let's fortify. Yeah, we are fortifying Paris. Valles Mota. Let's create a bit more of a conventional army in Europe. Two grenadiers and the line infantry guard. Good stuff. Okay. Nothing on the horizon with tech. Shrapnel shot might actually be quite useful. Let's just get Evora to get shrapnel shot first rather than shorten carbines. We're okay with mass production because it's almost the last industrial tech apart from threshing machine. Philosophy is all done. Military is en route. Top Gallants will help the increase in range and speed. Yeah, everything's pretty good. So let's hit end turn. You're coming back from the wilderness. Austria's focusing their mass in the Balkans. you got nothing to worry about us. From us Ottomans. I mean, I'm not interested in threshing machine, especially not for rights of man, wealth of nations, and 19 grand. No. Cast type proposals made in the name of our republic is an insult. We'll come forward with better proposals. If you, want to, if you talk about giving me Cairo, that would be different. But you're not. So I'm not interested. I mean, Russia's already given up their turn. I mean, I'm just going to auto that, I think. <laughs> We've effectively fought it properly once. Offer to become my protectorate. Not interested. Protectorates can betray you. I want the entirety of the Americas now, really. Ooh, Dagestan have moved forces out to attack us. 
That's interesting, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for our first engagement against Dagestan. See you next time, everyone.